Inside this training, I'm going to cover how to edit the book cover templates inside GIMP. GIMP is a free and open source image editor. It works on Mac and PC. It's a great alternative for Photoshop and it has quite a lot of uh, different functionalities and tools, making it a very versatile tool. In order to download, just go to the GIMP.org, just go to the download page and just click download. Before editing the templates, I advise you to go to the part number 4 for this product and go to the fonts folder. You will see a TXT file where you can download the fonts. So make sure to download the fonts first so you can use the same fonts as they are in the templates. So the nice thing about GIMP is that you can open Photoshop PSD files inside GIMP and it will actually load the layers and also different blending modes and so on. So we're going to open a, a sample file. Let's go to the nonfiction 01. I'm going to open the PSD file, so let's drag it and drop it to the GIMP icon. Alright, so we are inside GIMP. Uh, you can see on the left there are some different functions. It's quite similar to Photoshop in terms of interface. And on the right you will see the layers window, the different layers. You may have noticed that uh, it looks a bit different. Uh, GIMP has some drawbacks if you import the PSD files. Uh, one of them is that you cannot edit the text files. You actually have to recreate the text files yourself because these are not editable text layers. Also, sometimes there are some different interpretation of layers. For example, beneath these layers, as a background, there was an, a fruit background image. And you can see it's not visible because of some different opacities was set in GIMP. So let's do 20% opacity and now you will see the background as it was in Photoshop. So sometimes some small tweaks are necessary. So what we're going to do now is to actually recreate these text layers so you'll be able to edit the text. In order to do that just uh, select the type tool on the left and just drag it to create a text area. Just press the left mouse key and just create a text area to make it centered. Let's just use the same text. So let's just use powerful. Let's just double click it. We're going to use a Babas font. And let's make it white color. Just create a white color and let's change the size to, to 50. We can also make it centered. If you go on the left, there's a tools option window. You can select the justify option to the center like this. If you don't know what the font is, for example, what are these fonts, you can open the PowerPoint files and they will indicate what kind of fonts are used in the template. You can see that the layers beneath some other layers. So if you go to the layers window, we can actually move it up so it's more visible. So let's drag it and drop it a bit up like this. So now it's more visible. Let's select the move tool on the left and let's just move it up like this. We can also duplicate the layer so we don't have to repeat the same process in the layers window. Just right click on the powerful layer and just click duplicate layer. Now we can move it using the move tool. Let's move it down. I think I selected some other layers. Let's uh, go to the edit undo. It's a good idea sometimes if some layers are above the text layers is to make them invisible. So then it's easier to select the text layers. So let's do it again. Just select the move tool and just move it down. Select the type tool, double click it. In GIMP it's a good idea if you edit the text and you want to preserve the same style it's not to select the first letter, but to select the other letters. That way we're going to use the same style and the same font as you can see here. Superfoods. And let's remove the first letter. And let's now select the move tool. We can move it down. Let's now remove these uh, uneditable layers. So if you go to the layers window, you will see that these are powerful superfoods. So we're going to remove them and we're going to move the new ones down.
let's now recreate the exposed layer. So let's select the type tool again and let's just uh, create a new layer and just type exposed. Let's select it. You can see it's very small. So let's just uh, press Ctrl or Command A to select the whole text. Let's select the new font. Let's add though. Let's make it a bigger. Let's do it 300. Let's do it 340. And let's choose a different color. Let's choose the yellow. You can see it's not visible because under some other layers. Let me move it up in the layers window. Just move it up above these layers. And now you can see it's visible. Let's just move it down in a similar position as the old layer. Now let's make the old layer invisible. It's actually this layer. Okay. Let's move it up and let's move it down like this. Make sure it's centered. And you can see that's how you can create the text layers. Let's remove the subtitle. And let's now create the text for the author's name. And just type your name. Let's move it up so we can see it in the project. Let's select it. Let's make it a white color. Click OK. And let's use an open sans font. Bold. Let's make it bigger. Do it 150. Okay, let's now select the move tool and just move it down. Let's now remove the old layer, Chris Murphy. Just remove it. Okay, so that's basically how you can edit the book cover templates inside and GIMP using the PSD files. You can see it does require some customizations, and unfortunately, the text layers are not editable. But GIMP allows you to work on different layers, so that's a, it's a very nice thing. If you don't have Photoshop, it's definitely the, the best alternative I know. For example, you can remove some of these layers, remove them, so you can change some of the effects, change opacity of different layers. That gives much wider range of customization options. Once you like the design, just go to the file, export as, you can export it as a PNG file or a JPEG. So I'm going to use a JPEG and just type it 01.jpg and just click export. There are some options for the JPEG compression. You can change the quality. If you choose higher quality, the size of the file will be bigger. If you choose lower, then it will be lower. Let's just use stick with the 90. There are also some advanced options. Let's just use what it is and just click export.